People throw stones at you and you convert them into milestones. Don't stop chasing your dreams, because dreams do come true. My point of view is that when I am playing cricket I cannot think that this game is less or more important. As far as the World Cup is concerned, it is a process. We don't want to jump to the 50th floor straight away. We must start on the ground floor. Before you lay a foundation on the cricket field, there should be a solid foundation in your heart and you start building on that. After that as you start playing more and more matches, you learn how to score runs and how to take wickets. And that is the reason why this victory is great, because different players have made contributions to the win. I have never tried to compare myself to anyone else. There are over 200 million illiterate women in India. This low literacy negatively impacts not just their lives but also their families and the country's economic development. A girl's lack of education also has a negative impact on the health and well-being of her children. Every individual has his own style, his own way of presenting himself on and off the field. I hate losing and cricket being my first love, once I enter the ground it's a different zone altogether and that hunger for winning is always there. Schools across India do not have teachers, libraries, playing grounds and even toilets. I do not want to see empty classrooms, empty libraries. I do not want to see cattle grazing on fields meant to be cricket or football grounds. If one man is representing India in cricket, then yes, blame that person when things go wrong. Wasim and Wakar were amazing bowlers. I would put them right up there with the best in the world. Critics haven't taught me my cricket, and they don't know what my body and mind are up to. I always had a dream to play for India but I never let it put pressure on me. I want to give my 6 hours of serious cricket on the ground and then take whatever the result. People throw stones at you and you turn them into milestones. I just keep it simple. Watch the ball and play it on merit. I have played for 15 years and it has been a dream. Any active sportsman has to be very focused, you've got to be in the right frame of mind. If your energy is diverted in various directions, you do not achieve the results. I need to know when to switch on and switch off, and the rest of the things happen around that. Cricket is in the foreground, the rest is in the background.